What is going on guys? This is Rob with Rock Guitar School. Today we're going to be looking at the Rowan Noise Gate. Now this thing is pretty incredible to me. I have used the ISP noise decimator in the past. This one, honestly I think it's better than that one because you have more functionality. You have two switches on here. You have the hard and soft function. I tend to like this position, uh, the hard position. I like that really quick attack. And I have it set a little bit be be below midnight. It seems to be the sweet spot for me. So, but of course, you know, of course I've got it going through the, um, the effects loop of my 5150, three, 50 watt. So what you have going on here, I've got a delay and I've also got a chorus. So quick example, you know, let's take this off. This is what you're going to hear without it. So there you go. Kills it. It's a noise killer. So I, you know, as you can see in the title, guys, this is an exact replica of the Moore pedal. No questions asked. It's a, it is definitely a clone. You can Google image it. Uh, the Moore pedal, I think retails about 60 bucks. This one is, I pay 30 on, uh, I think I ordered it through eBay actually. I think Amazon's got them for, for around that same price. You're looking at 130 bucks for the ISP. Not sure I want to pay that much. So for $30 and it's a clone of the Moor, there you go, guys. And, and um, I can actually, I've got their tremolo pedal too. So it is actually the same, same size. So there you go. Another fun fact, so when you're switching, when you're switching, uh, you know, foot switches, you go through the different channels, what this thing does is actually silences everything. So if you use these EVH amps, you know when you switch, you're getting a little bit of a pop. So you take it out, hear that little pop. Of course, you're getting the hiss as well. So put that on, problem solved. Here you go. You know, I don't know how many of you are leaving your effects loop on all the time. I tend to. I use the delay a lot. You know, I know it kind of gives you a little bit different tone. Uh, you know, you really have to, you know, it's not, it's not like plugging directly into the amp, but it's a great solution. Once you get this amp cranking, if you're playing a live gig, it sounds great. So not a big deal there, but that is just really really good solution guys you know i know a lot of people hate that including me that that sound it just stinks so there you go guys i'm gonna do a little demo now so check it out all right guys we've got everything plugged in here so i've got the noise gate on right now i've got the effects loop on and i've just had my delay on now i am just the setting that i have on the the noise gate right now just below 12 o'clock and I'm on the, the hard setting. There's two settings on here. There's hard, soft. I like the hard setting. It's, um, you know, it seems to, I like that, I kind of like that, that strong attack. So works for me, but. So this is a little, I'm going to turn up the amp just a little bit. Again, I'm using my 5153 50 watt. So I've got the amp. Got it at about 25% right now on channel three. So you can hear the. Channel two. Clean. Go back to channel three. This is without without the effects loop. Obviously with the, the noise gate is going through the effects loop, so that's what you got. I prefer that guys. I don't know about you. Cuts right off at the end. 
And so channel two. <laughs> channel see here turn some chorus on get a little bit of a cutoff at the end you know I've got uh, again I've got it set I mean you know the noise gate basically r right a little bit beyond where it would just totally die so I'll go through the different you know I'll, I'll go basically uh, clockwise. So let's go back to the, the um, third channel here and you'll see. So all the way up, you're totally, totally killed. So. midnight that's when you start to really die out so, seems to me like right before midnight is really where the sweet spot is so you know if I hold the G chord on the on the clean channel you know starts to trickle down it's not too bad I mean it really depends on what you're playing you know if you're staying on the on the game channels, I mean, you're not going to really have a problem. Start to crank it back a little bit, you get a little bit more sustain. But if I put on the gain channel... Sounds pretty good to me, guys. Great deal, in my opinion, guys. So check it out for yourself. Again, guys, really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe if you can. And, um, you know, subscribe because I'm going to be making more of these videos. I'm really trying to find, you know, kind of needles in the haystack like, like these types of pedals. And, you know, to tell you, to, to show you guys that, um, you know, you can find, you can get great, great sound. And you can get that rock star tone for, for not a lot of money, you know. Again, if you're using these high gain amps, you're going to need one of these things. And, uh, you know, plugging it in. He wants to hear that, so it's a great solution. So there you go, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching, and um, see you on the next one. Take care, guys.